good technically evening. It's quarter past seven. It's actually Monday the 29th of May. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Um, this is the end of last week's vlog as well. Sorry, bear with me, I'm just going upstairs. Um, yeah, so I kind of was really bad at vlogging towards the end of last week, so I forgot to do my outro again. I'm literally just going up to edit last week's vlog now. And, oh, sorry, like so much shit on my arms. Um, yeah, basically, when was it? Friday, maybe? I had an email from the gym. They'd responded to my question about the whole, you know, I keep getting texts and emails and stuff about joining for free, blah, 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 it's not fair, can't afford it. And they were just like, oh, sorry for the inconvenience, but um, just look out for any offers. And then literally like the other day, I got an email from them saying, I could join for a pound. And I was like, well, it's better than 20. So I might well be joining the gym. I have two weeks that I can go like flat out. Although obviously, like I said, today is Monday, um, but I'm gonna go Tuesday to Friday this week, Monday to Friday next week, and then possibly Monday the 12th of June. Although, that is actually my birthday, so we shall see, but I don't have any other plans because, like, Kerry's at work, my mum is going to actually be in the country, but she'll probably be busy, my dad's at work, and Joe's obviously doesn't live here and will be at work anyway. I think he might be driving down in the evening though, so we can go out for dinner and then drive back Tuesday morning. Um, but yeah. We shall see. But yeah, that's kind of my thinking. I figure, like, I'm, I don't know. I'm in a kind of, I'm in two minds about kind of whether to do it or not, to be honest. Um, I'm still in the whole, really need to save money. Can I really afford to do this? I've got the money to do it, like, because my membership would be 15 99 for the month. And then it's, it sounds ridiculous, £17 a week. Um, to travel into town. I've done the math so and that is the best way to do it um, So it's like 50 quid for two weeks worth of going to the gym, which seems ridiculous But I know over the last couple of weeks that apart from the week that Joe was down I've been bored out of my fucking mind which was to be expected of course, but um, what am I doing? I can't find where have I put the vlog. Can you? Oh, there. Never mind. Um, where was I going with that? Yeah, like, it, it was t to be expected that I was going to be bored, but I'm just kind of like, I feel like I really need to get out and do something. I feel like I really want to exercise so bad. Like, I did that hit last week that you probably would have seen um, in the vlog. And I really did enjoy doing it, but I just don't feel as motivated um, doing at-home workouts. Like, I do to a degree, um, but I always feel like I want to do more. And I really like training with weights. I'm um, like assisted weights, not necessarily free weights. Um, yeah, more than cardio, although I do need to get on my cardio. I know. <laughs> but I do like weights as well, so, you know best of both worlds if I go to the gym so yeah I don't really know what to do because if I do it I'm gonna have to like sign up tomorrow morning um, and start going tomorrow um, I did actually text Kerry and I was like oh do you fancy a lunch buddy for the next two weeks because I met her in town last week because I had some stuff to do in town I was like oh do you want to meet up for lunch um, because she works in town. So we did. Um, and I said, oh, that'd be a lunch party for the next two weeks. Because I was planning to go to the gym around lunchtime. Maybe, maybe around one. Although, depends when Kerry lunches. Um, so maybe two o'clock. But it tends to be the quieter time to go. 
Um, so yeah, don't really know. I'm going to keep saying I don't really know because it's just how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to end the vlog here because like I said, I'm just editing last week's um, and I might even wash my hair. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it is really greasy and I really just want to go to bed with clean hair. It's not really weird, probably. But anyways, I shall catch you in the morning, hopefully when I've made a decision about this whole gym malarkey. Good Tuesday morning to you guys. It's nine o'clock. I've actually been up for about an hour now because my sister phoned me abruptly at five to eight and said that I hadn't done something. So I need to go and do that on the computer. And I was like, right, while I'm up and kind of awake-ish and on the computer, I'll upload the video because it took forever and a day to edit yesterday. It took like a good half an hour to export. I was like, oh, well, this is taking the fucking chronic piss, isn't it? And then just took ages to edit because I had like two and a half hours of footage and I didn't know what to keep and what to kind of get rid of. Um, but I eventually done it and saved it and it was about quarter past 10. And I was like, right, I need to wash my hair because it's disgusting. Um, so I did that obviously last night and then just went straight to sleep. So obviously this morning I'm uploading the video because it takes so bloody long and obviously I want it to go up tomorrow. Um, so it's at 3% at the moment. It doesn't even tell me how long it'll take. It takes that long. Um, so basically what I'm doing, sorry I just close all these tabs because I don't need any of these. This, this is what I'm doing. <gasps> rejoining the gym right okay so I've put the promo code in so it's made the um like joining fee enrollment fee whatever one pound 15.99 yes oh my god membership created your membership is now complete we look forward to meeting you again soon please allow 10 minutes for your pin to be activated random little side note but I've just kind of had this decision oh hello <laughs> sorry um that I'm gonna start uploading more to like social media maybe not so much Twitter because generally I don't use Twitter I just I've never understood it um Facebook I'm again seriously quite lazy with I use my like personal Facebook all the time um, I have like a, a group kind of Facebook for my YouTube channel just so I can post every time but like three people joined it so I was like I'm not gonna keep posting although I need to keep posting so people join like I know it's a catch-22 but I just don't feel like I've necessarily got the energy to kind of keep uploading to that Instagram I'm generally not very good at because I'm just not very good with photography I do upload to it quite regularly um, but what I do upload isn't riveting or pretty or you know but <laughs> um, along that kind of note snapchat just upload real life and that's that's the kind of thing that I like I don't like it when everything is brightened up to the brightest it can be and it's ridiculously white and perfect and amazing it just makes me feel like I don't know just so fake and just not necessarily that all people that do that really are but everyone follows each other they do exactly the same things and all their pictures just look fake <laughs> to be quite honest not what I'm into I'm into real life hence why on my Instagram it says my real unedited life because it is um so yeah basically long story short I'm trying to post more like to snapchat like on my story generally I send snaps to people directly and they just ignore me and it's really annoying because I specifically send it to them I I don't you know send it to everybody on my list I'm not that person if I want everybody to see it I'll post it on my story generally I don't want everyone to see it but I've kind of realized Probably should start doing that as soon as everyone else just ignores me anyway. But yeah, anyway, my Snapchat is there's beauty in S because this, their simplicity didn't fit. Um, I'll leave 
um, it on the screen here for a couple of seconds um, but it is always in the down bar all of my social media links are so my Instagram my Twitter my Facebook everything else always in the description box if you want to follow me on any of those like I said I'm not that riveting but if you follow me on here and have watched this vlog and watched every other vlog previously then you already know that and you're clearly cool with it so anyway it is 20 to 10 I just half eaten my breakfast I really got bored of it I just can't do porridge anymore oh yeah if you've got any um healthy breakfast ideas that aren't porridge that if you can try and make them gluten and lactose free um if not just put them down below and i'll try and adapt to them um but yeah i'm really interested in finding some new kind of healthier ideas which is probably what i'm going to do now i do have one video that i wanted to edit um but once i've done that and it's like saving and stuff i'm going to do a little bit of research um into that kind of thing um i have also booked <laughs> A PT session for half past eight on Friday morning. Yay! <sighs> right, that will be fun. Um, it's only half an hour one, so I think it's like a get to know you, what do you want to do kind of thing. And then I can kind of book a couple from there. I've got a couple of free ones that I can use, so I'm going to kind of just get a bit more advice, maybe see how much that they charge, like for nutrition advice and stuff. I know that sounds ridiculous, they have to charge for it, but they do, it's their job. Um, I don't necessarily want a PT, like when I'm training, because I do just kind of crack on, because I find they always push me way too hard. Um, I know that sounds ridiculous. You've got to push yourself hard, or you're not going to get anywhere. But generally, I just like to do my own thing. But I really would like some proper nutritional advice from a professional. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to get on, edit this video, and I shall catch you in a bit. Good evening. It is ten to six. I have just got back. Um, I... Back to it. Went to meet my friend Kerry for lunch. And then after then I popped into town to do the returns I needed to do and then I went to the gym. Um, when I finished at the gym it was like, by that point it was like four o'clock. Um, so I said to Kerry I'd get the bus home with her again because she finished at five. Um, so I just did a bit of food shopping in between. Um, just a small one but still my weekly nonetheless. So I thought I'd give, give you guys an insight. So I did buy yeah, two bottles of sparkling blueberry and raspberry water. I know it's probably shit for you, but I need something other than squash. Uh, we have potatoes. Uh, what else did I get? A cucumber. A mosquito plug-in thing for holiday. Planet of Kiwis, because he was wearing like 60 odd kilos, I'm pretty sure. Um, some bananas. Some cooked ham. I actually treated myself and got pink lady apples. I know these are two pounds before. Which to be fair, they're only 50p each, it's really not that bad. Um, I'm gonna have like an apple at lunch now. And I got the Jordan Simply Granola with a hint of honey. I was there for ages looking at the back of cereal packets and stuff. And this is like one of the lowest ones. Um, it's 100% natural ingredients and it lowers your cholesterol. I know they're still packed full of sugar and all that, but I cannot stand eating porridge anymore. Um, and then I also picked up these. I think they're like for children. Um, they're called Good For You Super Bites. Um, all it says is little soft, no, little round soft bites full of goodness. Um, truly healthy and tasty. So I got the strawberry and vanilla flavour and the uh, banana and cocoa. I opened these on the bus because I was fucking starving. So I barely had anything for lunch and only had half my breakfast. They literally look like these little rabbit poos or dog food biscuits. Um, but yeah, so that is all I got in my weekly food shop. Um, obviously, 
that will hopefully last longer than a week and so will the sweet potatoes probably so with the kiwis to be honest um but yeah i did forget to pick up kitchen roll um so i'll try and do that tomorrow when i go into town um but yeah that's that's all i've got to share for you now i'm really really hungry so i'm gonna cook my dinner now i think i don't really know what to have i've got some chili out of the freezer that i cooked a couple of weeks ago and frozen obviously um but i kind of want pasta tonight i was gonna have pasta and i also got out um excuse me wait for this okay sorry um paprika sausages that I got from Heck a while ago um, that I had in the freezer so I got out two of those and I was going to have that with pasta, mushrooms probably an onion and maybe a little bit of soft cheese um, I kind of really fancied that but then at the same time I want something easy so I might have a banana now I then just get on and cook it because if I just do it without thinking about it because if I the longer I think about it the, I'm just gonna end up pinging the microwave my, <laughs> pinging the chili in the microwave so yeah I'm just gonna get on put this stuff away and then just don't make my dinner stop it Morning gang, it is half nine and I have just got ready to film a video. Um, it's going to be on my, down there, um, huge Forever 21 try on haul. Um, so that will be up last Friday as you see this. Um, it should be linked in the description anyway because my last videos always are. Um, but if you could go check that out if you don't watch my normal videos and let me know what you think because one it's a different style of video the way i'm doing it and two i just need like people's opinions on the things i chose because half of it needs to go back <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna get cracking with that because i've only got a couple of hours before i need to head to town to go to the gym and to meet my friend gary for lunch so I shall see you in a bit. Morning guys. I went to vlog something last night and um, my memory card was still in my laptop where I'd filmed that try on haul um, yesterday and I edited it and I've actually managed to upload it. I left it, I started uploading it just before I left the house and when I got home it was done and I was like, what is this? <laughs> but yeah, it's done and that will go up. Like I said last Friday as you see this. Um, but yeah, no, I picked up my camera to say something and I was like, yeah, now to go to memory card. So I completely forgot what it was I was actually going to say. Um, I'm, it might come back to me. It might come back to me. But anyway, it's nine o'clock. It is not Wednesday. It's Thursday. One day closer to the weekend. Um, so what am I gonna do? I can't even remember. I keep feeling like I really need to do something, like be productive. Um, I wanted to start packing and stuff, but I can't really do that until next week. Um, I've done like my odds and sods, which you would have seen in last week's vlog. Um, but I can't really do clothes or anything because I don't know what I'm gonna need. Um, unless I just live out of a suitcase for a week, which is fine. Um, I can't really clean until I've moved everything and like I said I just I can't pack it until next week really. Um, I want to film a video but I'm not sure what. I want to do something packing related not like for moving for holiday um, but I'm not 100% there's a couple of things like a couple of ideas I've got like a packing tips kind of video um, but yeah we'll see watch this space um i've kind of got a backlog of videos that were meant to be up by like certain times um like the shop my stash update i was just like i said in that i referenced a time again um 
you'll get this if you do YouTube. Like, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> well, I did. I was like, oh, I'll do another update in two months time. That two months is due in like a month. Um, but yeah, so that needs to go up. So I'm almost thinking for the next like week or so, maybe, well, yeah, two weeks, I'm probably gonna have to upload three times a week, which is fine, but then I won't have videos to go up. But then if they're gonna be time irrelevant, then I might as well just upload them anyway. Contemplations again. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to, am I gonna do a face mask? Yeah, I might do a face mask actually, because I was gonna do one last night and I completely forgot. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my memory lately. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna clean my face and do a face mask. What I might do, I might even use um, the Body Shop face peel because I'm feeling very congested and spotty and horrible um, and where the sun's been out again this week. Um, obviously, cell regeneration and all that. Good to get all the dead skin off. <laughs> Prep for tan and all that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I might even show you it actually. So, first job. I'm gonna clean my face. Just gonna use Soap and Glory Total Drama Clean because I'm trying to use it up. So, just gonna take that all over my face. Okay. So, I'm just gonna let that dry. So, I've got the vitamin C um, peel. They do. do three different ones. There's a drops of light, drops of youth, and vitamin C. Um, I've got the vitamin E, vitamin C, sorry, spray toner, and oh my god, I love it. So I was like, I want to try the vitamin C peel, because my sister's got the drops of light, so if I ever want to use that, I can. Um, so I just used just short of a full pump. Um, and then literally just kind of pop it on like you would do moisturiser. To be honest, even that much is too much, but I'm gonna take it down my neck a bit. My nose is actually pretty good. It was last time I did it, but I don't know why. Can you see that? Pretty grim. I used this on Joe as well, and he said he actually prefers the smell of this to the drops of light. <laughs> so, I'm just going to wash this off um, with some water. Won't be a minute. Okay, so I'm all clean now. Feeling pretty dang good. Um, yeah, just a couple of little little bally bits. So I'm just going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask. I don't know how this is a clay mask as you'll see. Because um, I've got like one use left and I really just want to get rid of it now. I don't really think it does all that much. see it's not a clay mask at all well it might be in a like weird pinky white version um but yeah that's all gone oh that's so oh so satisfying i love being able to put stuff in my empties <laughs> so i'm gonna leave that on for like 10 minutes or so um and gonna just do some tidying i think I really feel like I just need to get on and do stuff. <laughs> I I'm just not some, one of those people that can like sit still. So I've got a drawer in the bathroom that's got like a couple bits in it. So I figured I'd just like go through it. So I've taken the stuff out of the thing, which was basically this. And actually I might even bin this. This is the Aesop, Aesop, however you say it, Amazing Face Cleanser. I actually got this 
years ago when me and Kerry went to Lanzarote. I bought this when we went to London. It's got the tiniest, tiniest bit left. I haven't been using this as a cleanser um, because it was like way out of date, but I've just used it to kind of wash my brushes with, which I may kind of just use that last little bit and then get rid of that. Save me bringing it. Brush cleanser is coming. Pack of razors is fine. Again, this is just a tiny bit of the um, Beauty Blender cleanser. I'm going to just use that on my brushes this time. Lip scrub that's not open. Joe's toothbrush, which will probably just come away with us. It's a really manky old razor that can go. Nail file that's all kind of frayed that can go. Old tongue cleaner. I've got new ones and that's just been floating around and I don't like that. It's disgusting. Uh, super drug toothpaste. I don't not particularly keen on this, um, but I'm gonna obviously try and use it to the best I can. Spare hairband and hairpin. That's fine, but I can go with the rest of them. Um, facial sponges. They can go and a grow your own cat. Um, he didn't work very well. I'm a bit, was a bit of a disappointment, but I think. <laughs> We're gonna try again and just kind of keep him for the sake of it because it's cute. So I'm just gonna use my eCover Multi Action Spray. Right, and then I've got these bits in the shower. Um, to be honest, that can be, I, my mum got me this for Christmas. Um, she doesn't know about, well, she doesn't really understand the whole cruelty free thing, so forgive her. Um, pretty much gonna use everything in here, probably, yeah, yeah. So I've got purple shampoo, normal shampoo and conditioner, body wash, feminine body wash, um, cleanser, Although Caroline Hirons would shout at me if I uh, admitted that I cleanse my face in the shower. Um, obviously, you shouldn't do that while your pores are open from the hot water. Oops. Um, Kiko hand and foot stone scrub. I'm probably just gonna ew. Gonna bin that. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll try and use it on my body as like a body exfoliator, but it's like way too gritty. So that's gonna go into my empties. And then Co-op's um, own anti-dandruff shampoo, which I used to like scrub all the red out of my roots. Um, to be fair, Joe does use this, but he's only kind of come down for one weekend, so I'll just let him use I'll let him use my shampoo. But that's everything from the bathroom. This is the only thing I'm gonna leave out because it's half used. I'm just gonna use this one more time. It's the Lush Magic Wand bubble thingy. That's wet where I've just put my face mask on with it. So that's gonna go in my empties as well. Um, yeah, I had all this stuff kind of set by the stuff I'm not gonna use um, in the kind of immediate future, but yeah, I need to put that somewhere, but I don't know how because it's all bottles and stuff. Morning, guys. It's 10 to 9 on Friday, Friday the 2nd of June. Um, I didn't actually vlog anything yesterday other than, like, a good morning kind of chat. I don't think. Oh, I can't remember. No, because I had intentions to, and then I was in there. Be bothered. <laughs> um, but yeah, today I had PT booked for half past eight. This is really not flattering, is it? I had I had it booked for half eight, and last night I was like, nah. <laughs> I was up till probably like eleven o'clock trying to edit some stuff. Um, and I never got it completely finished, so I will do that. Oh. I want to do that today. I did want to get to the gym because it is closed for a couple of days next week and it's been like, mm, not really going to get my money's worth. Although I do have the doctors today 
at ten past three. Uh, this is like an asthma checkup. Um, so I've got to try and figure out timings, whether I can just go uh, quickly to the gym. Like, oh, I just, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't, oh. To be fair, I could just go now um, and get it out of the way. Mm, oh. <laughs> I really can't be bothered today. This little thing wants feeding, don't you? Do you want your dinner? Your breakfast? Let me get my pills and then we can go get it. Right then, let's go. Hey guys, so I was just, well, I just finished making my lunch when the postman came with my little order from Maggie Ann. Um, it's a nail polish brand, if you haven't ever heard of them. I got one of their nail polishes in the shade Jasper um, in a vegan kind box a while ago. I did post a picture of it on my Instagram quite a while ago, um, but they posted about a colour that I think Lorraine, maybe from whatever ITV morning show she does, sorry, ruffling, um, using. And I was like, oh my god, that's really nice. And they'd won a, I can't remember exactly what it was, it was Natural Health International Beauty Award um, 2017. Um, which actually gives you 25% off. If it is still on, I will add a thing on the screen, but literally if you just put um, in the like promo code section, um, award in caps, it gives you 25% off, which is awesome. But yeah, these are the nail polishes I got. Oh, pardon. I'll show you down here. Okay, so this is the shade that I was on about the I think it was Lorraine, I think, um, was wearing apparently, and it's the shade Emma. It was a lot more pinky on the website. It's kind of very purple, very similar to a Barry M one I literally bought like the other week, which is kind of annoying, but this formula is so good. Like I said, I've got the shade Jasper and it is absolutely amazing. Like I didn't like it when I first like was applying it, but it almost applies like gel. Um, you don't get streaky bits. It literally like self levels. It's amazing. I know I'm talking. And the other shade I got was Grace, which is just a kind of watermelon -y pinky color. It's not going to focus. Come on. It's over here. This one, which is absolutely amazing. I might actually, oh, hello, come back. I might repaint my nails tonight, actually, because I painted them yesterday with this model zone one. The cat bit me this morning. Um, but I'm not really a fan of it. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but it looks like really Barbie pink, and it just doesn't suit my skin tone. So, now I have two new nail polishes. I'm so excited. And I just want to say an absolutely massive thank you. I doubt they ever like watch my videos or anything. Um, to the team at Maggie Am because their customer service, oh my god, <laughs> it is amazing. I, um, I sent a little message, you know, like on the websites, they have like a little, um, like a submission of like questions or whatever. So you put like your name, your email, and whatever your question is. Um, I did that and just asked like what their um, general like delivery time is. They replied on there um, to me like within an hour saying, oh, it, it takes two days. We ship via Royal Mail second class, um, or generally two days anyway, um, dependent on when you order. Um, and then I got an email pretty soon after saying, like, directly at me, saying, um, hi Vicky, um, if you wanted it, like, wanted the nail polishes by, um, this weekend for an occasion, um, we can send it to you first class, and I was like, oh my god, yes, that would be amazing, um, so they did that to me, and when did I order them? Is it yesterday? It might have been yesterday. No. 
think it was Wednesday afternoon because um, they said oh we've already done the postage for today so we'll send it tomorrow and it'll come on Friday which it has and I'm so excited I'm definitely gonna paint my nails tonight but anyway I'm gonna get on finish my lunch I've just got ham Ribita, soft cheese and cucumber on um, and then I'm gonna head to the gym I'm not meeting Carrie today because she's having an, um, a half lunch because she's going home early um, so I'm gonna have my lunch now get the one o'clock bus into town gym until maybe 20 past two ish um, and then get a half two bus back which should get me to the doctor's in time for my appointment at 10 past 3 and then I'm gonna go see my mum again because I've got to drop something off there so busy afternoon so I'm just gonna get crack a lack in and I'll probably see you maybe later on tonight when Joe gets here or tomorrow depending if we actually do anything which we probably won't let's be honest <laughs> evening going so it is actually 20 to 9 can you guess what day it is it's Sunday, yay! Um, I'm just about to edit the weekly vlog and I realise yet again I didn't film anything. It tends to be the way when Joe comes down we just, you know, it's the only time we get together um, so we just, you know, use and abuse it. Um, not in that way. Um, but yeah, so this weekend, what did we even do? So Joe came down on Sunday, uh, no, <laughs> what? Friday evening and um, we just had a chill evening he got here quite late because he had an issue with the car again on the way up here um, so he got here reasonably late ish um, so we just had a chill evening um, watched some TV um, and then Friday what is wrong with me Saturday um, we went into town we went to a place called Solent Sky I want to call it it's like a um, kind of heritage um, place for like airplanes and stuff so there's like RAF planes and like army stuff and <sighs> my hair on me and it's tickling me it's <laughs> um yeah so we went there about one o'clock ish and then we walked into town um and Joe did a bit of holiday shopping sorry I just keep getting distracted I'm very my mind's just not there today um yeah, we popped into town so Joe could get some last minute bits for holiday and I think we're all sat now, all ready to go. Um, I don't really know what I've got and what I haven't got. I think I've got enough stuff. God knows I have. But I haven't had a chance to like go through it all, see if it fits me and all of that kind of stuff yet. Um, and I won't do that until a couple of days before we go. That'll be exciting. Um, but yes. Anyway. I am just about to, like I said, edit the vlog. Um, I had a Snapchat question from Cynthia. Um, hello, if you're watching. Um, and you asked me how I did my hair the evening that me and Joe went out for dinner. I think it was like two weeks ago now. Um, and I was just thinking to myself, because I did reply to you and say, um, that I would look back at the video the other day and I'll put it in this week's weekly vlog. Um, I, I didn't get time. So I'm going to have a look now at the video just to see what my hair even looked like because I can't even remember and I'll try and explain it to, to you. So bear with. Why did I put the last one up as eight? Not nine. Add. Oh, does anyone else have Filmora? I think that's how you say it, yeah. Um, editing software, because Hayley, um, Hayley Louise, um, mentioned that she used it, and I looked it up, and obviously due to cookies, now every advert I see is that. Um, I just wondered if anyone else used it, and what, kind of, what your thoughts were on it and stuff. Um, so I'm tempted to give that a try. Side note, the bit where I was walking down the stairs was not meant to be in there and I did cut it out, but it didn't save for some reason. Oh, my new camera. We did it. We went and got it. Okay, so, um, styling-wise, like for the curls and stuff, I'd had my hair cut the day before and she curled it with um, Cloudline straighteners. Um, so that had just been basically slapped on 
and I tried to kind of recurl it but it just wasn't going to plan I couldn't really be bothered I was hot and I was just getting hot and flustered and bleh. so I think I just kind of recurled a couple of bits kind of around the front um, and then all I did was I took kind of because I I think I had it as like a middle parting and there I got my hair cut in the middle parting so I could wear it either middle or side because I do chop and change it um quite often um basically let's just pop you up here and then I can kind of try and explain so obviously imagine my hair is in like a middle parting I take kind of the front sections here I put them here I literally just had a clip there it was just to keep these bits kind of out of my face I'm not ginger by the way and to keep those bits out of my face while we were like driving into town I ended up keeping my hair like that because it just it just made it easier than me keep touching it all the time. Annoyingly, I got rained on as soon as I got out of the car and it was like a five minute walk to where we were going. So it got flattened. Um, but yeah, I just basically gave it a quick zhuzh up. I initially, like I said, curled it with straighteners and then I just went over it with my like, I think it's Babyliss or something, um, conical wand. Just literally just touched up a couple of bits. But that's all I did, basically. Um, but yeah, sorry if you weren't actually interested in seeing that. That was just for you, Cynthia. <laughs> um, figured that was a lot easier than trying to um, reply to your Snapchat. But yeah, anyways, this is the end of the vlog. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to get to film next week because the house that I'm staying at, the lady um, that I'm like house sitting for, um, she comes back on Thursday. So we shall see. It might be another short vlog again. Although I'm not really doing anything um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I don't know if I'll even vlog. I'll probably just spare you that one. I might. I'll try and still upload like two a week because I have a few videos that I've like pre-filmed um, that do kind of need to come to go up soon because they're like time specific um so yeah anyways i'm gonna get cracking editing the vlog and i will see you in the next one bye guys